was money, ain't worth two bob. It devalues, it changes value daily. It's not worth nothing, ain't worth the paper it's printed on. You don't realise money is a load of polish, it's nothing. We need it as a means of exchange, but it can change 20 times in a day. You don't believe me, do you? You've got a dollar. Kilo of apples, one dollar. Overnight, they go up to two dollars. How much is your dollar worth? Fifty cents. Good God. Work it all back through all what I've got in the bank, what I've got in super. It's all hard overnight. And that's happening all the time, right? So really and truly, what you should do is, once you've got your budget sorted out, just spend it. Money's like water. You've got a bowl of water and you take a cup full out, what happens? You can't see where it's come from, can you? Don't leave a big hole, does it? Right? In my experience, what you can do with money is, Matt's got a mortgage. Right? And you go, oh my God, how am I going to afford that? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Right? Just make the decision. And then within months, <coughs> you're used to it. You, what you've created, a new reality. You're paying your mortgage, you're doing this, that and the other. So, all of a sudden, there's no gap. There's no hole where the money came from. You just work your way into it. You see, most people, it's like Josh's father advising him at the moment about employing people. She should try and do it yourself. Oh yeah, I'll be the head cook and bottle washer. I'll be the salesman. I'll be the, uh, the cleaner. I'll be this, I'll be that and the other. Right? The only way to make a business grow is to find the things that need doing and employ people. Right? You say to someone, why don't you do that? Why don't you employ someone? Well, I can only do so much. How can I afford to employ someone? I'm only just paying myself. Right? How narrow-minded is that? They plonk another person there. There might be a bit of a strain for two or three weeks, but all of a sudden, it all levels up with itself. But we're programmed, aren't we? We're probably saying, no, I better not employ him. I better not do this. I better not do that. It's all back to what's been in your mind. So, right, what we're going to do is we're going to clear your mind. Because you've seen two cases. I haven't just dreamt this up. Josh has written about his every day. And you can actually go and see Matt's shop and showroom. Right? These aren't imaginings. Okay? So, do you all agree that Josh and Matt are just normal people? Do you agree? You can talk to me. Yeah. I'm going to try and do you agree? They're no different to you. What is the difference? What have they done that most people don't do? Taken action. Taken action, precisely. Forget your positive thinking. Because everyone sees, well, every time I do a talk, everyone in the audience has got more knowledge than me. Do you know that? Oh, yeah, I can quote this, I can do that, and this positive action, and ikes and pipes, and dilly they have got all this information. I say, well, why ain't it working for you? Why ain't it working for you? You can read hundreds of books. It don't make any difference. There is one set of rules. What I say to people, I don't care which one you choose, because everyone's getting to the same place. Who knows what a paradigm is? What is it? It's like a way of looking at the world like a belief system. Well, actually, a paradigm, in simple terms, is a habit. Okay? Now, why on earth would someone write in a book, instead of putting the word habit, that everyone in this room can understand, put the word paradigm? Hey? Why would they do that? Because number one, no, not many people look at words up. So you haven't actually understood what's been written. And the reason they've done it is to make themselves look clever. And all they've done is make themselves look bloody stupid, because no one can understand what they're saying. So Uncle Pros, about seven years ago, said, this is a load of toffee. Because people are writing all this crap and they don't know what it's all about. They're confusing everyone and everyone's running around like headless chooks without an idea of what's going on. So I said, I made it my life's work then to deal with, predominantly, I love dealing with people your age because you've still got a chance to use it. But you can lock in at any age. Josh has took me to a position now that I never thought I'd be in my life. I'm just so just having such a buzz at all what's going to happen. But all we've done is we've just let it unfold. We didn't know where we were going. The biggest decision he had to make two months ago or a month ago, I said, Josh, 
He had a, a very profitable business called Mortar for Marketing. And he was designing websites and they done all the headaches of doing proofs and all that. I said, get rid of it. Because it's harming the new one. Now, that's a good bit of advice, isn't it? You imagine what his old man said to him that night when he went home and said, Prost told me to give the company away. Well, certainly we did it. I bet I was popular in the house that night, don't you? But if he's still dragging that behind him, it's like walking around the trailer behind you. Because he's not focusing on moving on. Right? <coughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? So, if something in your life, if, you, if you're going to a job, Day after day, what you don't enjoy, do you know what? I feel sorry for you. I feel absolutely sorry for you. Because your life's over. If you will do that on a daily basis, keep turning up saying, well, where you don't want to be. People say to me, how much money you got? I say, what's you got to do with you? <laughs> well, they say, you keep turning people out and become rich and all this and the other. I said, yes, all right. How much is rich? Put your hand up. What's rich? How much is rich? How much? Precisely. Precisely. It's different to everyone. Right? Don't try and compete because Bill Gates wins every time, does he? You lose. So there's another stupid thing to do. People go, I'm going to go and get a load of money and I'll do this. But you lose because you're going to find someone with more money, whatever you do. So don't chase money. Start off with happiness and belief in yourself. Alright? Money will come to you. You don't have to chase it. Would you get us a glass of water? You don't have to chase money. You attract it. If you've got to chase anything, it's broke. Same as a woman. You chase a woman, she's off up the road. You sit down and ignore her and she'll be going, excuse me, what's your name? What's your name? Is that right, Matt? It's right, I know it's right. Don't worry about that. Anyway, so you don't chase things. Alright? Let them come to you. Learn to attract things. Okay? Now, one of the biggest shocks I've had in recent times, when I first started studying, and I took this very seriously, because I want to break it down so that you can identify with it. I don't want to use big words and rubbish and all that sort of thing. I know how this works. These aren't the only successes I've had, trust me. I have successes all the time. I work on the internet with people all around the world and I have major successes. Unblocking the blockages and just going, and that's the greatest thing. That's my reward, is seeing people. I'd love every one of you to take something from here tonight and run with it. Right? Because every one of you can. Right? But you're all sitting there thinking, he's a nutcase. I've got to go to work tomorrow. I've got to do this and I've got to do that. Just take it tonight on what it is, on value. It's all good information you're going to hear tonight. And every single one of you can change your life by just changing your mind. Alright? That's all it relies on. And don't go away from here all far up and go, oh yeah, love me on the da 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 da. And then get up tomorrow and go, oh, I'm going to poxy job again today. Because <laughs> you're doomed. Make a commitment to yourself. Because if you do, you'll be surprised. You'll surprise yourself at what you can do.